Well, first of all, are you okay? You're not like, oh, I'm great. I'm great, you know? <laughs> Weather's just a mindset in my eyes, and I'm a lineman through and through at the end of the day. That's what I tell these guys, just be yourselves. You know, the senior class. They, they, they were freshmen when I got when I got hired and this journey that we've been on together. You know, they lost their sophomore year to COVID and we had to claw and fight last year uh, just to get the playoffs. And, you know, when adversity strikes, you know, they've seemed to answer the call all season and tonight was no different. I'm just I'm tremendously proud of this entire group. Honestly, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm speechless. This is the amazing. We've been working for this for four years. We finally got him. Coach Morello, he's... <laughs> We're his first freshman class. He's everyone's just amazing. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. That, that's Charlie Dixon for you. I mean, he's he's a man like no other. He was a man possessed tonight. I mean, we got dogs like that all over the field. Jack Wilson played a phenomenal game. Our O line eight. John Insigna is a junior linebacker, and he's just dominating the SEAC. I mean, we got guys all over the place that know what they're doing. And they love it, and uh, feels nice to celebrate on this field today. What did they just I mean, that just kind of set the tone. I knew they were going to run a 10-yard out. Every time he touched his gloves, we knew it was going to happen. Our coaches did a great job of studying them, and I just jumped it. It set the tone for the whole game. Pick six, oh, it set the tone right away. I mean, uh, right before that, I dropped one, and that could have been a big play. And thank goodness I did, because Charlie Dixon picked it right off and went to the house and put six on the board for us. That was beautiful. I mean, we knew our defense, we've been on fire, and this game was nothing different. I mean, our defense is just like, we're lights out now. We just won it for our team. Well, Char Char Charlie Dixon, I owe him a steak dinner. No question about that. They didn't need a lot of motivation for this game. You know, this is the perfect opponent um, to have for a final game because I didn't need to say much. You know, I just simply reminded them of all that they've put in and all that they have had to sacrifice for the last 12 months to get to this spot. And you know, you say things and it doesn't always mean that it's gonna, it's gonna come to fruition, but you know, with this group, talented bunch, man, they just played with heart and uh, yeah, super proud of them. Unfortunately, a tough finish today, but again, a credit to, uh, to Greenwich, and I want to give uh, a lot of credit to my kids mm -hmm. and my staff, because the one thing we never did was, you know, give up on ourselves, mm -hmm. and uh, today was not a good game by us, mm -hmm. and we played a very good team, but this team's got a lot of heart, it's got a lot of character, and uh, they've added to the program culture in a positive way, despite very difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm.
I'm so thankful to the coaches that have, that stuck it out for the last four years with me through the through the speed bumps because yeah, uh, I never done this before. I never called a play of uh, varsity football before I was hired. So you know, Gusland Dean hired me, took a shot on me, and Ralph Mayo they took a shot on me. You know, this guy from from Greenwich that that loves the program and um, you know all these coaches just rallied around me and you know look what look what hard work has gotten these guys. I mean, it's hard to argue that, that, that if we played anybody right now, it would be any different. So, um, uh, whatever you guys decide, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with. We got what we came out for. We, 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 we didn't set out a goal to be number one in the state. We set out a goal to win a state championship, and we succeeded that today. When you lost by a point on Thanksgiving, did you ever imagine you'd be here? Honestly, yeah. That, that loss is a fluke. So is Southington. Both were one-point losses. We should have won both of them, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Look at that score. Oh, it's gone. Look at that scoreboard. We're the best team in the state. We're